Um, so, uh, my talk is about um, word census ambiguation and entity linking together. And a real service, a real uh, 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 website that you can use, uh, let's say, from, from today. So, um, this is joint work with Andrea Moro and Alessandro Raganato uh, to appear in uh, the transactions of the ACL. Um, well, if you, well, if you're not Spanish, you might be frustrated with your Spanish. Uh, I'm a, I am, for example. Uh, if you are Spanish, you might still be frustrated. But even worse, if you want to read the meme in traditional Chinese, uh, th that might be an issue, right? Uh, especially if it's uh, you know very short and and you need to understand what's going on there. So, um, what's the motivation for the work I'm going to present? Uh, we have a lot of content, a lot of especially textual content that is expressed in many different <coughs> languages, and most of the time it's domain specific. And this information that we would like to extract from these uh, web pages and uh, uh, online content uh, ideally should be processed independently of the source and or target language. So we would like something that works for many, many languages, if not all languages, ideally. Um, and this could be done if we had, if only we had uh, multilingual text understanding with high performance. So, but we know, we all know that this is a hard issue. I mean, it's, it's something difficult. Um, so, well, we've been working on this and uh, starting from something which is also my t-shirt, uh, Babelnet, which is, uh, many of you know, I guess, uh, a wide a coverage, multilingual semantic network, knowledge base, um, uh, covering 50 languages and covering both lexicographic, that is, uh, lexicographic knowledge that you find in dictionaries and encyclopedic information that you find, for example, from Wiki in Wikipedia and other resources. Um, it, originally, uh, uh, the resource was created out of the integration of Wikipedia, which contains a lot of named entities and specialized concepts, uh, and WordNet, which contains uh, mostly concepts, like in any other dictionary. And there's a, an interesting, uh, quite large intersection between the two resources, which are concepts and some named entities integrated from, from Wikipedia and WordNet. And Babelnet is available online, and you can use it for search purposes for free, no problem, babelnet.org. Um, so this is the, the, the main web page. Uh, now, uh, this week, uh, the new version is out, 2.5, which still covers 50 languages. In the next version, we'll cover all the Wikipedia languages. Uh, it has a lot of textual definitions, more than 20 million uh, textual definitions. Uh, more than 60, uh, 67 uh, million word senses and named entities. Uh, 1.1 billion RDF triples, uh, and also a Sparkle endpoint. Uh, and this resource integrates seamlessly <coughs> Word, WordNet, Wikipedia, and now Wiktionary, Omega Wiki, which is another collaborative multilingual dictionary online, uh, and uh, some other WordNets available thanks to the Open Multilingual WordNet project. And you have translations into several languages, dozens of languages for all four uh, open class parts of speech, nouns, verbs, adverbs, and adjectives. So the thing is, starting from this uh, resource, which is already available, a lot of people are using, um, we, we thought this is a nice multilingual inventory that we, we could use for concepts, like for example, calcio is uh, an Italian word that can denote many different concepts, like calcium, uh, kick, uh, soccer, uh, and also named entities, because you have things like Mario, and uh, uh, you have entities like uh, Mario, uh, the, the video game character, the play, the soccer player, and so on, and a music album. So you have all these, you have this integration of different kinds of um, sense inventories from, a dic from dictionaries and from encyclopedias that you can use together to um, go beyond the state of the art. Like, for example, and you have so much uh, lexical uh, uh, information in, in Babelnet, which is uh, due to the availability, the integration of all these resources. Like here you see, for example, a culture kick, uh, and you, you, see, you can see there are many definitions in the same language from Wikidata, from Wiktionary, from WordNet, Wikipedia, and so on, and a lot of lexicalizations in many languages, and so on. This is calcium and culture. Uh, in the calcium sense, uh, and this is uh, the soccer sense, and the, I couldn't show all the all the information because there's so much. You can do it yourself if you if you, if you go online. 
So the thing is, what can we do with this multilingual sense inventory? Well, first we can do word sentence ambiguation. That is, we have a sentence like Thomas and Mario are strikers playing in Munich, and we have a target word like striker, and we want our system to choose to select the, the most appropriate sense for the word striker in context and output the right sense of the target word. This is word sentence ambiguation. However, there's also entity linking, which is actually quite similar. So uh, you have Thomas in the same sentence, and Thomas refers to an entity, a named entity. And uh, ideally, we want to, uh, the system to output the right uh, named entity, uh, which in, in this case is Thomas Müller. So um, th this is what we, we thought. We wanted to integrate these two tasks, which are very similar. A lot of systems are just doing entity linking. Some systems are just doing word sentence ambiguation and wanted to do the two things together. And we could do this thanks to Babelnet, because that's the largest resource which integrates these two words, the dictionary word and uh, the encyclopedia word provide the information for both uh, senses and named entities. And the, the result of this, um, of this work, of this research work, is online also uh, at babelfy.org or .com. You can try it yourself. Um, so you can input the text to Babelfy. That is, what we do is we are given a text as input and we associate uh, the right meanings uh, with uh, words and uh, uh, mentions to named entities. And I'll come back to this later. So what, how do we perform this uh, uh, babelification? Um, for example, consider the, the, the striker concept. It's a concept. It's not a named entity. What we do, even if it were a named entity, we would do the same. But what we do is to identify, automatically identify what we call semantic signatures. That is a number of concepts and named entities which are closely related to the initial concept or named entity. So first, we identify this a large set of uh, concepts and identities related to the initial uh, concept. Then we find, give, give, and we do this once forever. Then, given a sentence or a paragraph or a full text, we find all the possible meanings of words or multi-word expressions in context. So for example, all the possible meanings of Thomas, of Mario, Strikers, Play, Munich, in Babelnet, <coughs> even including substrings. So all the strings which include Mario, all the strings which include Thomas, and so on. And these are examples. Uh, however, they are very ambiguous. And the, in Babelnet, you will find the dozens of uh, possible meanings for each of these words. So what do we do? Well, we actually uh, put these uh, entities in, into a graph and look for the connections between meanings, uh, dif meanings of different words in context within Babelnet. And so we obtain a graph like this. And what we do is to, uh, so we connect all these candidate meanings, and what we do is to identify those uh, parts of the graph which are less connected and uh, remove them from the graph. And so as a result, we obtain a smaller graph, which is a kind of dense uh, semantic interpretation of the initial sentence, which could be, which could still contain ambiguities, but m much less ambiguity than uh, at the beginning. And so what we do is we reduce the number of uh, candidates to a smaller number, uh, in this example only one per uh, word, and then we, we, we uh, disambiguate, we babelify. Um, so in this example, we find the right me. If you try the sentence on, on, the, on the system, you will find out that it works. Uh, you have to be careful with the partial matches uh, option, but I'll tell you later. Um, so in this case, we identify Thomas Müller for Thomas, Mario Gomez for Mario, and so on. Um, well, we, we, we performed experiments, but I will not go into detail be because this is not uh, the real, I mean, the real objective of this presentation, but you can see that uh, for uh, multilingual disambiguation, and we tested five languages, we perform a state of the art beyond the, the current state of the art, or sometimes close to the state of the art. But in general, it's a very high performance for, for word sense disambiguation, which is a very difficult task, given the fine granularity of the sense inventory. 
and uh, also state-of-the-art entity linking. You can see that on two data sets, which are the only op open, freely available data sets uh, for, an, uh, for entity linking and core 50 is very ambiguous one with short sentences, we obtain the state of the art and same for uh, Cornell, uh, the, Cornell, the AIDA Cornell data set, um, uh, above uh, TAGME, above Illinois Wikifier, much way above uh, DBP the spotlight, so the performance is much, much higher. Now, let's look at some examples. This is the uh, news from today. Stars boycott Beverly Hills Hotel over Brunei Sharia move. And so I just took uh, the first uh, paragraphs of this uh, news from, uh, I think, BBC. Uh, and uh, I just input this text and uh, clicked uh, Babelfy. And what you get is um, this, uh, this output, which is just a set of uh, uh, words or multi-word expressions which are identified. The yellow ones should be those that are recognized as named entities. Uh, but there could be named entities which are in green anyway. And what you get is the meanings, because if you click on each of the uh, 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 circles, you get the meanings. So the disambiguation uh, done by the system, like star as a known person, uh, boycott, this is a verb, which no uh, named entity system is able to disambiguate, boycott as a verb, uh, sharia as a noun, uh, hotels, harsh as an adjective, uh, celebrities, which is a different lexicalization of the same concept, a widely known person, uh, Jay Leno, uh, Ellen uh, DeGeneres, and so on. So this is very interesting. Uh, and also the Beverly, the Beverly Hills Hotel. Another news from yesterday, Coca-Cola to remove drinks ingredients. So I tried this and I got this <laughs> result. Um, uh, with this ambiguous drink, with this ambiguous flame retardant, uh, Fanta, and so on. Um, this is another example. Next goal wins uh, for world's worst football team, losing 0 to 31st, uh, 31. Uh, and so again, I took this text, I input it uh, to Babelfy, and again, uh, we can disambiguate both named entities with high quality and uh, concepts like football. Um, this is an example of a text written in, an, in another language. For those languages for which we have a part of speech tagger, we apply the part of speech tagger. Like in Italian we have, we are using tree tagger. So for some languages like French, Spanish and so on, we can um, uh, identify the right um, part of speech tag for, uh, the, uh, for each word in the text. Uh, but there are also, since we are covering the 50 languages and they are not freely available uh, part of speech taggers for all the languages, for these other languages, uh, what we do for the moment is just to uh, match the uh, tokens, like the word forms, against Babelnet. And if we find a match, we use it for disambiguation. <laughs> Otherwise, we just uh, skip that word. Uh, for Italian, we can see this is another news about uh, Amazon joining forces with Twitter. Uh, so you can just use Twitter to uh, uh, make purchases on Amazon. Uh, using a specific hashtag, um, and you can see with this ambiguous Twitter, uh, there's also, you know, a joint forces, Alea, um, Amazon.com, so uh, whatever, uh, social media, and so on. And actually, uh, one feature which is not available at the moment, but, but would, which will be available soon, is uh, a language agnostic disambiguation and entity linking. So potentially it could happen, it actually happens, that a given uh, uh, named entity mention or uh, a given word sense doesn't appear in Babelnet because it, it's not in Wikipedia. It's neither in Wikipedia, nor in WordNet, nor in uh, Wiktionary. Uh, in that language. For example, a named entity which is not lexicalized in Chinese, but it's lexicalized in English or another language. So what we can do is also to perform this ambiguation and entity linking independently of the language without having to say the specific, which specific language the text is written in. And if we do that, uh, we have two, three percent, uh, percent uh, performance uh, uh, lower, a decrease in performance of two, three percent, but it, it still performs very well. And you have the chance of discovering more named entities because that named entity is not lexicalized in the language of interest. Um, I think this is all. 
So this uh, project is funded by uh, the ERC and uh, uh, also for the RDF part uh, of BabelNet and uh, the data produced by BabelFi, uh, the leader project. Also, uh, you might be interested in tomorrow's workshop. And um, the, the, as you can see from uh, the, the, the BabelNet website, now uh, from the from version 2.5 on, you can click on the on on uh, there's uh, the RDF icon. And you can go to the Sparkle endpoint and and check and use uh, the RDF version uh, directly, query it, and so on. That was already available in 2.0, but the link uh, from the uh, web interface to the Sparkle endpoint is now available. So that is all, and uh, I thank you all. Thank you.